Hey everyone, before we begin, let's have an audio check. I want to know if this microphone is working, so if you can hear my tapping, let me know. Anyone? Okay, thanks Kevin. Mike is good. Today's date is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. The time is about 8.45 a.m. Temperature is 81 Fahrenheit, 27 Celsius. Glad I got those audio issues resolved. Besides the intro video, that's an issue with the software. It's been crackling during the intro video ever since I arrived in Pattaya. I don't know why, but I've been trying to resolve it and it can't be fixed. I think it's software related. But today I actually got my lightning adapter fixed for my microphone. I think that did the trick. I went to a DJI store and Saigon and got it replaced. It cost 500,000 Vietnamese dong or $20 for that one part. But it was really driving me crazy yesterday because I had a great live stream and um, the audio wasn't working properly. Today I want to go north here in District 1 of Ho Chi Minh City. I'm going to head up to uh, Yuan Hui Street and walk along the side, not through the middle like I did yesterday. Just so we can get a close up of some of the restaurants and cafes there. I love these lights that they put up along the street. Not a big fan of crossing the street though. Wow, look at that. There's a whole family crossing now. Glad they made it across. It's a skill to, to be able to cross the street. I remember this from my language app, Ngoi Vietnam. That means Vietnamese. Daniel says crossing the street, tell me before so you can close your eyes. Well, we're gonna cross one now. Close your eyes, Daniel.
I know I said I wasn't going to go into the central area, but I think I should. The famous Yuan Hue Walking Street. Or if you anglicize the name, it's Win Wen, New Yen, New Win. People all pronounce that um, last name or family name differently depending on like their preference. The only true way to say it is the Vietnamese way, and even then there's different regions, but it's the most common last name or family name in Vietnam. Dien say it would be a great place to start a business. You didn't realize how prosperous and lively the city is. Yeah, you'll be surprised. There's actually a lot of activity here. I know it really surprised me. Ron TV Metro is asking what surprised you the most about Vietnam. Really the people. Everyone's so inviting and nice. Even the uh, people on the road crossing the street, you think they're out to kill you, but they all like, in a weird way, they really care about your safety. There's an understanding there, which is kind of strange to think about. Look at this, they're playing the World Cup qualifiers here in the middle of Yuen Hue Walking Street. I hope I don't get in trouble with YouTube for live streaming the uh, soccer game. I think to uh, be safe, I'm going to cross the street. I don't want to get a visual copyright from YouTube. You can get that, by the way. If the copyright holder like sees you streaming a television screen or a movie indirectly. I can't believe they have this up for everybody to see. It's amazing. Everyone's gathered here just to watch the, the football game. Even people on the scooters, they're parked to watch the game. This is incredible, like something I never thought would happen here in Vietnam. Look at this. Rock and 
Tân Đô Với Tân Sô Lê Văn Vượt qua được vị trí của Thái Sơn Tội Đô Vâu Đây là một hiệu ứng tốt của những đội bên trong Hai tình hình rất bóng của bạn và họ nhìn có thời cơ để tạm bóng Indonesia is playing Vietnam. This is incredible to see. Can you imagine when there's a goal being scored? This place is going to go crazy. Oh, oh, oh! They're so close to the goal. I don't want to stay here too long. Watch, as soon as I walk away, a goal is going to be scored and we're going to hear it. Oh, different teas here. Pineapple juice, guava, ice cream sandwich from Singapore. I'm telling you, it's really fun and lively here. And this is just a Thursday night. How much is a coconut here? Thirty-five thousand dong if you want a coconut. Francis says a Vietnam wins tonight will be a very big celebration. Oh, without a doubt, especially here. Feels like a quarter of the city is here just watching the football game. Maureen says, looks so lively, fun and safe. Oh, for sure. There's so much going on here. your own character, Mei Cha. Here's the hop on, hop off bus, which I actually took during the daytime. I want to try it at night too. I heard the night tour is really amazing.
That's the opera house down there. Oh, they're selling the uh, hop on, hop off bus. Uh, I'm okay. I thought about getting on it. I think I'll skip on it though. Tom Kearney says the city is so pretty and people so cheerful. That's what I was saying before. Someone asked me what surprised me about Vietnam. Just the people here. Yeah, Sheridan, incredible lighting. Ron says, I thought you meant they're selling the bus. No, they're selling the tour. I went on the day tour. The day tour was amazing. But I'm going to have to do one at night. Absolutely. This is the city hall building. Rolls Royce, Ho Chi Minh City. What do you think of this color? Do you like it? What a car. Rolls Royce is custom made. Yeah, Marine, this is the luxury store area. There's a store here, the, I mean the building called the Vincom Center. It's a luxury shopping mall. And that's how you cross the street in Vietnam. The motorbike riders are good at avoiding people. Gary Rigby, you've been there, you love Walking Street. Yeah, that one I was just on, the Yuen Hue Walking Street is amazing. There's also another one, Bui Vien, which is really nice.
It's scary when you have motorbikes riding on the sidewalk. I don't think they're supposed to, but once in a while you have motorbikes there. I'm approaching the um, Saigon Central Post Office. I don't think it's open at this time, but it's really nice inside. Michelle asking, why are there so many motorbikes? It's because it's an efficient way to get around. Much less expensive than owning a car. And more efficient on gas mileage too. There's the Saigon Central Post Office building. And the Notre Dame Cathedral, which is under construction now. Here comes a sightseeing bus. Looks fun to ride at night. Look at this. There's a lot of people here just sitting. Hello, Sin Chow. Catholic bookstore. Maybe this is a religious group. Something I haven't seen before. No, oh, you know what it is? It's actually the seating area for this cafe. Look at that. It's outdoor seating. You just sit 
over here on the tarp and you have drinks and hang out. I thought it was a religious group, but far from it. <laughs> Just have yourself a seat and order drinks and socialize with your friends. What a great idea. It's wonderful to see so many people out and socializing, having fun. I mean, I wouldn't really feel comfortable putting my food or drink on the floor itself if it's dirty, but you can... But I wouldn't mind sitting on the floor and like holding the drink or food. Tom says I thought McDonald's seating was bad. Well, to be fair, it's not the dirtiest place you can sit. I never knew Saigon had so many lights, especially at nighttime. It just feels so inviting with all these lights on. And it really wants me to take that sightseeing bus at nighttime just that much more. Ron says it's brighter than you expected. The lights are so bright, it's even causing a lot of reflections and glare on the camera lens. Hung Mao says, bring us along live for the sightseeing bus at night. I almost did it tonight, but I skipped out on it. I was like, nah, I'm gonna do some walking tonight. I'll save the sightseeing bus for another time, but to be honest, I'm probably going to record it, not live stream it. Especially because I don't know how long the bus is going to take and I have a limited amount, amount of time I could live stream due to my data cap. Yes, Guardians of Chaos, I, I'm well aware of that. My heart really goes out to him. Carson says, why is the data in Vietnam so restricted? I don't know.
I mean, two hours of live stream, which is equivalent to a five gigabyte cap with my settings, is still a good amount of time. Here's the very beautiful Independence Palace, lit up in orange and blue. Monique says, it seems like America makes us think other places are so undeveloped, but in actuality, it's beautiful. That's why traveling is so important. Yeah, a lot of people, they get into that trap um, because they hear a certain opinion about a certain place or a region, or maybe um, like media will show only a certain part of a country and they extrapolated to have like the whole entire view. But traveling to Vietnam, it really opened my eyes. Deborah S. says, good evening, seeing this is newsworthy, AK Press. Hey, this is what I do. I know I really started this YouTube channel based in New York City. And I always wanted to expand my channel much more than New York. And I know it's been very successful and I'm sure many of you are appreciative of that. This copyright music playing, of course. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break. You can travel the world, so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next Alright, we got some uh, pork ribs here. Ooh, so good.
That was really um, an awesome place, a big market for street food. They had everything from tacos to Korean food, spring rolls, bun mi. NM says it doesn't suit the ambiance. Well, the music they were playing didn't suit the ambiance either. So. It's uh, American pop music they were playing. Marine Shea says everyone looks under 30. Um, actually, the median age here in Ho Chi Minh City, I think is around like 28 or 29 years old. So it's a very young city. And you compare it to a city like New York, I think the median age there is around 37. And that's even a young city. Here in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, the median age is even younger. Uh, Planet X-15 doesn't Vietnam also accept U.S. money too, or isn't that everywhere? I, I don't have. I haven't tried. It's best to just convert the U.S. dollars into Vietnamese dong. What I will have to say is um, a good amount of places, they take credit cards, especially the restaurants that you sit down, many of them, they take credit card. But the street vendors, the ones on the street is mostly cash. Look at this. There's a dance group here at this local park just practicing their dance moves. Gotta be careful with these and make sure you don't hurt yourself. They're mainly, they're mainly meant to keep out the uh, scooter riders from riding on the sidewalk. Russ Mave says, thanks for what you do. Looks a lot different than it did 60 years ago when I was there. Wow, that's a long time ago. 60 years ago in Vietnam? That'll be in 1964. Insane. That was right in the middle of the Vietnam War. Or um, they call it the Second Indochina War too. dancing. Alex Oliveira asking if I see many homeless people. Actually, I haven't really seen 
homeless people. Or if um, they are, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna wait until there's a walking signal on the other side of the street before stepping out. It's a tour bus. Barb wire Viet Hooters. All you can drink 4 to 9 p.m. Local pho restaurant. Looks pretty good. Wow, look at this place. Looks like a garden in there. Na Hang Yong. You're really uh, experiencing the ambiance in that restaurant. And I'm saying this is a remarkably smooth video stream from all the way across the world. The um, cell phone signal here has really impressed me. I had no issues with it. Only time that I do is when um, I run out of data. And that's more of a operational issue rather than the network. Ipsa Sahu with 100 Indian rupees finally caught the live stream again. Just one and a half hours difference from India. Enjoy Vietnam. Thanks, Ipsa. Ipsa. Thanks for the support. Dwayne Vladika asking if it's difficult to learn Vietnamese. Actually, um, before I started learning Vietnamese, I looked up how difficult it was to learn it. And uh, there's a scale that is used to gauge how hard it is to learn for an English speaker. The highest category is level five. That's where um, languages like Chinese and Japanese are put into. Vietnamese is category four. And it's difficult because it's a tonal language, which is very different than English. But the benefit of Vietnamese is that they use a Latin alphabet. So at least there's a hint to how the words are spoken. Whereas if you look at Chinese or Japanese, it's a bunch of strokes and characters. You have to memorize what each character stands for. So in that way, um, 
the way I learned, I've been learning Vietnamese is through Duolingo. I've actually been noticing like a lot of the tones I'm, I'm able to get and um, picking up like the reading of it is actually easier for me. I know it'll take some time to get used to. Hokkaido Sachi. Sugoi desu. Hi, glass lady. I tried to learn Japanese in a class and was not able to. Um, I actually loaded up a Japanese app not too long ago to refresh what I was starting to learn a few months ago. And it was hard for me to get back into it. There's a lot of like extra um, <laughs> like syllables that are added on the Japanese and sentence order that kind of get confusing. Believe it or not, Russian is even easier to learn than Vietnamese. That's what I read. Ipsasahu says AK is a polyglot. How many languages do you speak? Um, let's see. Hello, Xin Chao, Ni Hao, Ne Ho, Ola. Ciao. Bienvenue. Konnichiwa. Sawasti Krap. What did I just say there? English, Mandarin, Cantonese, Spanish, Italian, French, Thai, Vietnamese, and Japanese. And Korean. Annyeonghaseyo. You know, it's funny you mentioned that I'm a polyglot. I'm actually far from it. I'm not really fluent in any other language besides English, but I'm trying to learn like little basic phrases here and there. And believe it or not, it's helping me out like more than you think. Like you would think I'm not fluent in any one language. It would be hard, but it helps when you travel. Back to the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral, the back side of it. Let's hope I don't get run over here.
Canada this. Does Vietnam have a Disney park? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a uh, Ho Chi Minh is so gorgeous at nighttime. Actually, I should rephrase myself. Ho Chi Minh City is gorgeous at nighttime. I think if you refer to the city as just Ho Chi Minh, um, it's not considered polite, like not respectful for um, the founding father of Vietnam. I don't know, I, that's what I heard. You have to say Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon if you want to refer to the place. You can't just abbreviate and just call it Ho Chi Prusi, I'm from Slovenia. I can understand Serbian language, but I can't read Serbian acrylic. Yeah, that would be tough. Sometimes it's like that. You understand how it's spoken, but you can't read or write. And that was the way for me when I uh, grew up learning my native dialect of Chinese, which is Thai Chinese. I didn't, I didn't know how to read or write Chinese at all. I just knew how to speak. It's still zero, zero. I wonder when the first goal is going to be scored for that uh, football game. Johnny says your video always looks like it's hopping, totally unwashable. Uh, that's just the way it is, unless I have a Z-axis stabilizer, but even then, I don't really get too many complaints about the way the video is. To me, even able to video this and live stream is incredible. I'm just amazed at modern technology that you're able to watch this. Sounds like a party in there. Wow, what is going on in there?
Vietnam's excited for the game. <laughs> Hey, if you want to place the party, you can do it there. We got fruits and smoothies here. This is amazing. You can like walk around in Saigon and if you get thirsty, just hop in a nearby cafe or a juice shop and get drinks. Look at these children. They're dancing to that music. Camila says, good evening. Did you like Vietnam? I'm still discovering it, but still, um, but as of right now, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. But they, then again, that's just the kind of person I am. I really appreciate all the places I go to for what they are. Look at this, this is a cafe. Ching Hu Tang. 79. All I know is they're selling tea here. Tra Oi Tra Mang Kuo. Mango, mango tea. See, I learned a uh, Vietnamese word, mango. Wise one says, AK, you do appreciate where you are. Thank you. What's amazing about uh, Vietnamese is even though it's a hard language, at least you know how it's going to be pronounced from the Latin alphabet. So if you master how to pronounce everything and the tones, you could actually speak Vietnamese, but you don't know what it means. It's like this whole area, this whole city spot lights up at nighttime. David Paluki says, This is awesome. Thanks to you, I'm heading there in December. Really? I hope you enjoy your time here.
I've shown so many different places on my YouTube channel. A lot of people have traveled just due to my being there or my recommendations. Benno says, do you miss the Thai food AK or is Vietnam as good? Um, yes, I do miss the Thai food in Thailand, but the Vietnamese food here is good too. And you can find Thai food here in Ho Chi Minh City, so it's not like it's without Thai food. Desi asks, do they still speak French in Vietnam? Um, I don't really hear it or see it spoken on a daily basis. English is more prevalent than French, which is kind of ironic. That looks like a really nice place. Simian Hong is traveling to Hanoi next week. Yes, that's the capital of Vietnam in the north. I hope you enjoy your time there. Look, another tea and coffee shop. There's so many of them around. If you ever feel tired, walking around the hot weather, just stop by, have a drink. Yeah, Ron, that's what amazes me. It's almost 10 o'clock at night here. There's still cafe places open, juice bars, people socializing, it's great. And this is on a Thursday night. Christopher Dotson asking, where are you heading to next AK after you're done with Vietnam? All I have to say is stay subscribed to my channel and you'll find out. Because if you're following me already, I've, I'm always full of surprises. Yeah, Ipsa, it's much cooler at night compared to the morning. Doug Helms asking, how long is the flight from New York to Vietnam? Hey Siri, how long is a flight from New York to Vietnam? An average flight from the United States to Vietnam takes 22 hours, 42 minutes, covering a distance of 8,442 miles. That's what Siri told me. I didn't fly from uh, New York to Vietnam. I did actually a two leg trip from New York to San Francisco and then San Francisco to Taipei.
Doug says, long flight. That's if you could uh, get a direct flight here. I'm not even sure if that's possible. I know you can't do a direct flight from uh, New York City to Bangkok. You need to change. This is Pasteur Street. Actually, there's an area up here. It says busy area. I want to check this out. Usually when Google Maps says it's a busy area, there's a lot of like activity and nightlife there. Uh, Jim asks, does that crowded bike traffic give up a strong exhaust there? Um, I don't really notice it that much actually. They're doing something here. Sure, it looks like a busier area. It's a busy street. Spiky asks if it's expensive to live in a city there. Um, generally, if you're from the United States, it's it costs a lot less compared to the United States to live here. Hank asking if the people are friendly. Absolutely. I experienced many friendly people just in this live stream. Glad there's a pedestrian signal here. Thanks for that info, Susan. Disney's not in Vietnam. I didn't think so.
let's see uh, where I need to turn to get to this busy area. Still a little bit. Lop Taekwondo. I guess they do um, Taekwondo practice here or martial arts. Aikido. Oh wow. I remember when I was walking from Cholon back to District 1, there was a Muay Thai gym. That was really cool to see. Hey Desi Des, thank you for the 499 super chat. Appreciate it, Desi. Thanks for watching. Wow. Is that a statue of Ho Chi Minh with a child? That's such a nice statue. I don't think we're getting a pedestrian light here. Wow, look at this curb, it's huge. And I'm shining my light here and making sure they see me off this turn. Doesn't hurt to have a flashlight, especially at nighttime. I'm even going to use my flashlight now. I think there's some uneven surfaces here. Yeah, there's a ledge. Broken tile. I think they could put some like yellow paint here or something. It's just drop. You could hurt yourself. Okay, I think over here we might be getting closer to the busy area on Google.
No, there's still a little bit more to go. I still have another like five minute walk before I turn onto that street. It's a much different part of town. I don't think many tourists will come over here. Turn my light on. Uh, KR Necky patch. You have a flashlight with 5,000 lumens with 300 meters throw. It's the one that spills the light. What about yours? Uh, this one, I have it in the video description, the Phoenix PD36R. Um, it's very, very bright. I don't know how many lumens this goes up to, but more than enough light for any need it's actually too much light you can definitely blind someone with this which uh could come in useful but definitely use it responsibly and when i use this light when crossing the street and stuff i shining on the ground. I don't point it directly at someone's face. At the ground is good enough. Uh, there's a dog coming at me. Hopefully these dolls are friendly. I'm just gonna act normally. If they like bark at me, I'm just gonna sit still until they calm down. Good doggies. Unlike the one from last night. <laughs> That dog just startled me. You never want to run from a dog that just feeds into their behavior and um, it makes them want to chase you. Usually dogs are pretty curious. They may bark just to like announce their presence and then if you like just sit still and stare at them while they bark, they like eventually give up and they realize, oh, he's just not gonna do anything. never want to turn your back to a dog. Alex says that's why you prefer cats. 
Well, stray cats are not really that harmful to people, but stray dogs can get kind of territorial. Uh, Route 7 recommends some places in Saigon for me to walk in District 2, Phu Mai Hung and Phan Sik Long Street. Thanks for that. I hope this is the street I'm supposed to turn on. Yes, it is. The busy area. Although it doesn't have the busy area label anymore. There's Family Mart. I don't think I've seen a single 7 Eleven on this walk tonight. Have you? Might be too late for these businesses now. That's why Google doesn't show it as a busy area anymore. Uh, I'm gonna definitely use my light here. What's all this? Crack, crack. I don't wanna step on that tarp. Random plastic tray and uneven surface there. And another uneven surface there. Oh. KR Necky Patch, your flashlight is stronger than mine. Wow. Oh, I see. Walking around Landmark 81 is also nice. The tallest building in Vietnam. I don't think many of these places in this area are open too late. There's a coffee shop there, but... Yeah, it's breakfast and coffee. It's not a late time evening spot. It's almost 10.30 now at night.
heavy metal asks which city is generally more developed, Bangkok or Ho Chi Minh City? Well, to be fair, um, I've only really experienced a little bit of Bangkok. Bangkok is huge, as well as Ho Chi Minh City. But um, the main downtown area is definitely Bangkok is more developed. They have uh, metro lines there, they have the SkyTrain, they have sh huge shopping malls. Ho Chi Minh City, I um, haven't really experienced like those big shopping malls and their metro is still under construction. But Bangkok draws in more tourists and visitors than um, Ho Chi Minh City by far. I'm going to turn left here. This will bring me back to uh, Ben 10 Market and closer to where I'm staying. Lisa asks, have you been recognized at all over there? No, not in Vietnam. I haven't watched all your videos from Southeast Asia, but a few. And this is the first time I've watched when no one comes up to you. Um, it's interesting you mentioned that because when I travel, I've noticed if I go to a English speaking area where English is the primary language, I get a lot more recognition and it makes sense, especially when I'm in New York or Miami in the United States it's because that's where most of my audience is. But I did get recognized in Canada as well and the United Kingdom and London. Taiwan, I got recognized also, but not as much. Oh, I see. Loot says the Saigon Metro is open in July. Not too far away. It's almost done. Just four months. There's definitely the street less traveled. Bangers says at least the cellular phone signal seemed even better than New York. Yeah, you think that New York has a great cell phone signal, but there's areas I stream in New York City, it's horrible, especially when I go indoors. Actually, the United States in general, I live stream in certain places and I'm shocked how bad the cell phone signal is sometimes. I'm sure if many of you are watching my Los Angeles streams, you know exactly what I mean. I had to switch between three different providers, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile.
Hong Miao says, I'm appalled about the cell phone service in LA. It's bad. <laughs> Although I will say, I think uh, T-Mobile fared the best for me in LA when I went there last time. Roy says you need all three in San Francisco. Yeah, I had problems in San Francisco too. I remember one of my streams, you popped in and he was saying, um, I was in the Sunset District somewhere, I think, or the Richmond District. You were like, oh, I wouldn't walk on that street. The signal is bad there. And uh, speaking of, um, signal and cell phone service and whatnot. I have less than 20 minutes left on this live stream before my data cap is maxed out. So just giving you a heads up. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? I just stare at the dog and the dog's like, okay, he doesn't seem interesting. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I didn't get scared that time. I was, I'm used to dogs now. The dog came around the fence and started barking at me. Two dogs. And they were small dogs too. Banger says, show you the boss. Yeah, I turned around. I'm looking at the dog. Hi. It helps when you're an adult. As a kid, uh, I don't know, a shorter person may not work the same way. Yeah, Loot7, you're scared of stray dogs. You got bit when I was a kid. That's what I was saying. Um, I know many kids who got bit by dogs. Roy got bit by another kid. Oh my gosh. That's not cool at all.
Hank P says he never had a dog as a pet. No, I've had a dog as a pet before. But when I was younger, I wasn't responsible for taking care of the dog. Someone else was. Sounds like there might be karaoke in there or something. Hung Mao says, I bet my live stream will end when I reach the busy area. It's looking that way. Less than 15 minutes left on my live stream. I hear a dog. Maybe they're barking at each other. Wolf. Oh, there's dogs in the behind the fence over there. Good thing I'm on this side of the street. <laughs> 